everyone, this is Starbound and we are back again. Well, this awesome structure that's behind me is basically what you are going to need to... I guess go on the planet. Uh, with the cores to be able to... Well, move away from the planet itself. At least that's how it's right now. Oh, this was actually an enemy. Didn't really see that one coming. I got... I thought it was something else. I'm gonna leave this uh, be. I wanna get somewhere else on the planet. I actually saw a weird sort of structure but that I'm curious about. Uh, all the flying stuff, uh, or I guess uh, mobs over here, they're not that difficult to get, I suppose. As you saw, that sort of uh, enemy sort of breaks into more than one and then they will come after you, so Keep that in mind, I suppose. I don't even know what that is. I think it's a flower or something. Who knows? Who cares? We're out of there. Also have two more enemies over here. This is a flying one, actually. Oh. Came for me. I thought it was gonna stay there. Like, like a pretty bird that it is. Yeah, we need to heal up a bit. We made a few more salves. They're pretty easy to make. You only need fiber for that. I could shoot it with a bow, to be honest. But... Yeah, actually it was exactly what we needed to accomplish that. We also found some weird structures over here. We actually got to them. It was wild and I got here. I have no clue what's beneath me and I kind of want to know. If you get my meaning. So I'm gonna, well this episode is gonna be mostly about me mining, eating all the food that I can, making more food as we go move along I guess, and then just sort of mining beneath this structure to see what are we going to get over here, I'm really curious to be honest. It should be cobblestone, yeah we'll need that too as well, not gonna say no to it, by the looks of it it's probably nothing. Maybe there's something even uh, lower beneath the ground. I have like no real clue. We also found uh, a tomb. I have no clue what that is either. Didn't really have time to explore. As I said before, there's a bit of a problem when you're gonna need to watch out for your food and stuff. You can do this, by the way, to look nearby, sort of close to you, you know, and see if there's something like beneath. Apparently, there's really nothing. Uh, I really thought I was going to give you something, uh, sorry, for you guys something to see, but apparently this is not really the case. Hmm, what's that though? What in God's name is this? Stone rubble, okay, that was sort of weird, I didn't really know what that was. I could mine like for hours over here with all this dirt. And it would be like, there's like nothing beneath have a bit of mineral over here that's actually coal and that's about it as much as it permits me I'm gonna go for the coal so I'm just not gonna say that I did this like for nothing <laughs> but that's gonna be about it I guess I don't know there we go we got that sort of on a hunting trip for the most part though Uh, when I could, when there was mount, when there were mountains, I tried to actually go with the tunnel beneath them. So if I want to move fast on the surface of the planet, so I can actually move around rather easily. That's not really important. I'm taking my time on the first plant because it's like the first plant we got. This you could leave this in about I don't know 10 to 20 minutes or so. You can get the cores that fast. Actually, they're not really that problematic, especially on the first. Uh, uh, first the planet, but I, I kind of wanted to learn the game sort of I guess get how things work and um, Get the feel of the game overall and well, I sort of did that <laughs> but problem was yeah, I'm doing this the bad way would have been way much easier that dude's gonna attack Ah uh, you can't really shoot continuously, so sort of, uh, I guess, I don't know, shoot, not shoot, use your weapon continuously. You do need to sort of, uh, it has sort of a cool down, that, that's the best way to put it. Let's see the steak, by the way, I'm curious about the steak. It does give about three and a bit, actually about three of them. The bacon is still sort of holding. 
We should have some crops back at home when we come uh, come back. I'm gonna I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna end up uh, pretty much on the other side of my base. Doesn't really matter overall. Most of this is actually already explored. There are a few caves that haven't really went in. This actually is made by me. But uh, overall... This isn't me, maybe. I, I, at least I don't think so. <laughs> I don't really remember this. Sort of ends. Doesn't really matter overall. Oh, you wanna fight? Then we fight. Here we go, about 10 pixels. And we are back at the quest guy. That we took like last time. We also... Okay, quest complete! Well done, Bantai. I never doubted you could do it. Really? Rewards. Nothing and nothing. Just a bonus of some coin. I have a plan to expand my stores. He needs what? Putting together two iron bars. I guess, I guess I'm gonna accept that. Though it's not gonna be easy. Well, not that. I don't wanna do that. You could get the... The crates behind him. He's not really gonna go mad on you or anything. But... <laughs> I have enough crates as it is from all my exploration, so I don't really care. This dude used to have a quest. I don't even know which it was because I did not um, guess, uh, see it at all. Because I wanted to show you guys. I didn't want to get... You know what? Let's water his old crops. Because apparently they don't really take care that much about their own crops. So at least someone should do it, you know? Why not us? <laughs> when they go invisible, that's a neat trick actually, I didn't like see this anywhere until now. Ah, again on the cooldown. Well, we're getting some damage, but doesn't really matter overall. Both of these cases sort of end. Uh, let's move back home. We could sort of, um, well not sort of, we could actually strip all their buildings down. And you can use the parts for yourself, but I don't really want to do that. Oh, this actually ends? Okay. Was not expecting that. I thought this was like a way for me to go... Oh, there we go. Uh, over this, but apparently it's not. Coal and a lot of stuff. You're gonna see this thing, that, like, like here. You're gonna have minerals be be, uh, beneath the, the trees. You could get them, but you're gonna need to get the tree in the process as well. You know what, let's just take this, because this is copper. And it doesn't matter from which side you're actually mining a tree. And usually do it at its base. Uh, if I'm gonna go from this side, it's gonna. So if you mine it from the left, you're gonna. He's gonna. Well, yeah, the tree is going to fall on the right and the other way around. Now we can mine without any problems. In case you want to remove the background. Um, yes, I don't know. Uh, whatever it's on the background doesn't really matter. Just uh, use your right click and you can mine it directly, as you see. I think I didn't really show this uh, before in our uh, sort of building uh, episode. You can do it wherever, whenever, doesn't really matter. You can, as you can see, you're gonna get whatever is from behind. Uh, actually, I did show it, but not for clearing stuff, I showed it for other reasons. We're gonna get some damage now, I'm pretty sure about. Hopefully, we're not gonna die can really evade this sort of uh, drops too much. If you're gonna fall on one direction, you're pretty much gonna fall on that direction. You can't really turn back in midair, not that much at least. There's more exploration, I guess, nearby. Ah. You also need to aim way much properly than I did. But I do. Can make salve, so as far as we as, as long as we can make salve, we don't really care that much. Let's eat some more before this actually goes bad. I don't wanna. I don't know. Considering how hard I'm actually getting the stuff, I don't really want to lose it anyways. Not to uh, unmaintenance and stuff. I have no idea where this actually leads. Oh yeah. Oh, it does lead somewhere. Probably gonna fall to our death there. So just going to continue on this way. This is the other shop that we found earlier. It does give a couple of stuff. We actually can take this spear. Damage per swing, rate of fire. It swings rather slow. It does do a, a blade whirl. 
but our weapon it's actually better. It swings as uh, oh, just the same, 1.1. So uh, for the fire rate, if the number is higher, it's better. You swing faster or many times, um, I guess uh, a couple more times than normal. Well, don't mind me. You just swing faster. Let's take it like that. And damage per swing, it's damage per swing is DPS basically, almost DPS, I guess. And the special is the special. We could get a bunch of this stuff actually. Could sell a bunch as well, because we have a lot of crap over here that we're not gonna use most likely, like the darts and so on and so forth. But I'm gonna keep it all for now. I wanna get the feel of most of them, and we're gonna go from there. They're really uh you know what? I'm gonna take this door. Because I'm a jackass and I'm gonna destroy a people a person's house. Yeah, that's why. Never mind me. <laughs> Um, I guess snow is one of the easiest ways to manipulate around. Well, I got a bit of damage because I went right into the mob. But apart from that, we hit it rather well. We got some pixels, no food though. Could kill this guy or could get his uh, uber axe, but I don't really want it. It's probably gonna swing rather slow. I can. I would very much like. A uh, faster axe, uh, not axe, uh, faster weapon basically. But we're gonna do with what we have so far. She doesn't really give us anything, unfortunately. Uh, uh, I'm actually really managing to to get over here. I would have expected not to be that easy for me, but I'm really doing it. I just put a bit more, or oh, I guess wood there, not wood. Oh, and I'm going beneath my base, which is not so great. We could actually mine everything beneath our base, but I don't really want to do that. I'm going to leave it as it is. And we have some crops to actually... Oh, I'm going to need to remove this. I forgot about this one. I'll build enough, sort of, so we don't really care about the rest of all of this. Oh, I'm always over jumping this. I don't even know why. As you can see, I'm a dumbass. Oh my god, it's gonna take me like half an hour to get on this? Wow. So, overall, I think everything is actually sort of set. I don't think there's anything left for us to, to grow over here. We should get our harvest. Oh, the wheat is actually not uh, already uh, big enough. Not already. It's not big enough, and I think the carrot isn't either. But the rest of them, they should be free pickings. There we go, rice. I guess you don't really need to replant them. I think you can leave, just get the harvest, you know, like that. Leave the, the rest of the plants on. And if you water them enough, they're probably gonna grow back some food. But I'm gonna go for the full growth. Uh, I guess I could go for the carrot, but I'm probably gonna... Regret it on the long run. Let's get all the tomatoes. Uh, there we go. This is something. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a potato. Not bad. We have a bunch of potatoes. I'm also going to need to uh, make that... Um, I should have planted probably, but... Oh, well, whatever. Still have enough time to go within uh, the making of the food. But for now, I'm just gonna go for the bacon, because I have a lot of it, and I don't really know how much do I have, actually. Five more, okay. How much is going to keep into the raw state? I don't want to lose it, if I can help it. So I'm gonna go for the bot food, there we go. I actually kind of want to see how good it is, but I'm gonna wait a bit more until this actually goes down. Everything is sort of screwed around here. So, unfortunately, yeah, the food doesn't seem to stack at all. When I say at all, I mean at all. This is a baked one. Yeah, it's a baked potato. I have two carrots, not bad. Bunch of other stuff. Tomato seed, yes. Yeah, Seed-wise, I'm gonna need to separate them a bit, so I know what I'm gonna have to plant back on. This is purple seed as well. Potato seed, don't mind if I do. Rice seed, there we go. Rice is rice, there's going to be food. I have no idea what you can do from corn though. Could look it up though. And corn seed. We have a bunch of uh, fruits and stuff and vegetables that we can really use. 
So we can make popcorns apparently, which is going to sort of neat. Does it do something? Pop it like it's hot. <laughs> really? Nice. <laughs> you can sell it by the way if you want to. Uh, roasted carrot. Apparently I can't really do that. Cooked, cooked. I'm gonna go for the potatoes, onions, and... Oh yeah, by the way, let me see with the pearl pearl. So boiled pearl pearl peas, whatever. I don't even know what that is to be honest. We could do one of these. It wasn't that great the first time we did it, but it sort of worked. I guess we could try it out. Cooked poultry. Okay, whatever. Cooked trips. Oh yeah. Let's see. We have a full. Uh, bars down on the food. Let's see how the bacon. Uh, oh my god, it's actually pretty weak. It's even weaker than the potatoes. So, potato power apparently. This is the best food we found so far around. Uh, steak also does it a bit, if I'm not wrong. And rice, well, I kind of. I like the rice in real life as well. And it was one of the first foods we actually made. So, I'm a bit, I guess, I don't know, melancholic or whatever you call it. So I'm gonna go for the rice. And we just ate our last baked potato for a good amount of uh, three bars of food over here. So let's see, uh, we have what? Rice, about five pieces, pretty much. Pretty much, this is a lot actually. You, you, when you wanna plan it, you kinda need to, well you can, I guess, uh, right click it and equip it, but it's not gonna go that extraordinary. You don't, you actually need not to have things to obstruct your plants, whatever they are. I don't think I have any carrots or are these like, my god, the tooltip can really be seen. Roasted carrot and roasted carrot. I actually have two carrots to eat. Not bad. Let's put them over here because they're sort of uh, fresher than the rest. What are these? Rice, like really rice, rice. Okay. Don't really mind if I do. So this is corn seed. Yeah, let's go with corn seed. You can right click it directly, apparently you don't really need to equip it. It's a, a bit faster, I suppose. We're not really that more uh, attacked, not more. We're not really attacked anymore around here. At night, there were a, there were a bunch of, uh, I guess, mobs around. We just cleared the way or something. I have a few of these as well, as well as those, but we need more than this. Uh, where was, uh, we were on planting and stuff. So potatoes, they are our best source of food so far. No. What's going on? Apparently the potato needs all of them to be equipped first. Yeah, if you right click it, you're going to right click like for all of them. So let me see. Can really sort of, uh, I don't know, stack them around or one to each other. I don't think that's actually going to matter on the long run that much. But don't quote me on that. Let's plant one of these as well. Can I put it there? No, apparently there's more space around it. And tomato. We're gonna really go on tomato. Probably no more wheat though. We're gonna see how it goes. Maybe if we have enough space, we'll we'll put some wheat. As you as you as you just saw, the wheat just went a tad uh, bigger. It's uh, I guess uh, ready for harvest. If I'm not wrong, or maybe still needs a bit of time left. There we go, we have a full house of rice, one carrot, <laughs> one purple pea or whatever that is, two pieces of wheat, a bunch of... Uh, actually that's a... I don't even know what this is, to be honest. What is it? Let's see, because at least for this one it's actually help. Uh, many forms. No. This one. Corn, oh this is corn, okay. Let's take the carrot, because it's uh, it's done. One carrot seed and uh, one carrot, so this would be the seed. Let's replant it. There we go. We can take the corn as well. Don't mind if I do. Mm, whatever, uh, what are the good seeds we actually have? The corn, I don't even know. What to, uh, we have a lot of cotton, but... And we got some. I'm not really ready to go for cotton, to be honest. Cocoa, we have a bunch, but we don't really use it, so I'm gonna go for the wheat, I guess. On the long run, we're probably gonna find a recipe or two, which uh, we're gonna be from which we're gonna be able to uh, make our very own bread or something. There we go. 
we've uh, set that. Now we're going to back, go back and uh, re-equip this. Um, but you can right-click it directly. So, yeah, that's that. Let's water our plants. As you can see, we're losing a bunch of time on our gardening, more than exploring and whatever. I do uh, believe in a prepared. Um, I cannot even prepare, but always be prepared. So probably that's why I'm spending more time with the crops than with the game itself, I guess. Well, the game is crops, but at least in this form. So we do have enough food. Could eat one of those um, uh, cooked bacon. They're not that great. As you can see, that's like one bar, if I'm not wrong. So it's actually really awful. And it really cost me a lot of money, but I didn't really know, so now I do. We could bake some of our uh, carrots, actually. We could make one of them, at least. Let's kind of do it. Because the carrots go pretty well, as I remember. Cooked tomato, let's make those as well. There we go, we have a bunch. Popcorns, I'm not going to go for it. Not right now. We could go for one of these. And the rice, because we don't have that much. But if we're gonna go and go exploring, we need to prepare. Wow, I actually had a bunch of rice, apparently. I didn't even know. Let's see how much uh, potatoes we have. Have one. Oh my god, we have a bunch of potatoes, actually. Pretty neat to overall. Let's. I guess, I don't know. Oh, don't mind if I do. All that water is really going to help over here with the crops. It's going to keep the water meter. Well, not the water, but the, um, the earth already wet so the crops can grow. Isn't this nice? We're talking more about crops than the game itself. <laughs> oh, well. It's an aspect of the game. It really brings a new difficulty to it. I really like it, to be honest. I'm kind of afraid that I won't succeed with it, but I see, we seem to already have a decent uh, stack of food so far. And if you're going to find a shop that's going to give you raw materials to actually craft um, your, uh, your food directly, basically, we should do just about fine. We can make a bunch of uh, iron bar. We're going to make them cool. I'm not going to have enough time to go back to give to the NPC. But I'm going to have to keep two of them, because as I recall... Well, don't throw your weapon, for God's sakes. Let's see... It needs two iron bars, if, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, two iron bars. So, we have how many? Let's see. Actually, let's not look from there. Let's look from here. This would be the forge, the anvil, actually. There we go. We have deputy's hat, which I crafted rather easily, and we already have it equipped. We also have the deputy slacks. And it needs six iron bars. Oh my god! Actually, no, two of two iron bars, and we have six. And the leggings. Oh my god! They. This is the vest, actually. This is the slacks. This leads a lot iron bar, more than we actually can afford to, to be honest. But we could make this, and they will give us more damage, more defense, even more heart and more energy, so more health and energy. Let's forge them, because we can. We're gonna equip them. And uh, we're going to keep the rest of the iron so we can give it back to the quest. We're going to look for more and make uh, the rest of the iron suit or whatever you want to call it. Bandit vest needs leather, actually. We do have like one piece and we have a, pee a few raw ones but which we could transfer with more leather. But overall, hmm, this is actually a bit better if you ask me. Yeah, a better increase in uh, damage at least. I don't know about the defense though. Um, I can make the revolver. I don't see it being extraordinary compared to what you already have. The shield could go. We need better uh, materials for the rest of them. Bombs we didn't really make, but we found some. And uh, this is... Uh, well, we don't have the tungsten nor the glass, but we have the living root apparently. We have 10 of them. Uh, with this, you can breathe underwater with ease. So now let's see it. Uh, we should have them. There they are. So the slacks should go here. There it is. I have much da more more damage, more life, more energy. Not by much, but enough, you know. And this could stay here because we could sell them on the long run. Hmm. 
I don't even know what this does. There's a bunch of items, as, as this game usually have, that you kind of need to figure out what they're for and what they actually do. Um, and I think, yeah, we're gonna end the episode right here. We sort of covered a bunch of stuff. We actually made some armor as well. Uh, if you enjoyed the clip, give it a big like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I'm gonna see you guys next time.